Welcome to the Games Court. My name's James O'Hare, and I'm here to show you the game's good and bad. You know, I've been thinking about something lately. PlayStation being the game company I grew up with, primarily the PS2, with so many games that I can do videos on, I thought I'd, give, I'd go back to the NES and give you this game from my past. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, you may have seen the first game review I ever did, which was Garfield on the Atari 2600. And I thought, and that was before the games court. Well, after that review, I did, a, I did a video on Garfield, on the Garfield Nintendo game for the Famicom. Because apparently Nintendo of America couldn't get the licensing for Garfield. I don't know. And I wasn't really smart when reviewing that game or making a decent video. So I'm doing it here. And to be honest, I would rather wrestle the macho men and get slammed than play this than play this. Because this disaster from my past deserves no attention. And in my review, I wasn't hot, but this time I'm going all out, baby. Rage screaming and all. I won't back down. And I will express. All my power to expose and condemn this putrid piece of kitty litter. Let's see how it holds up. The title screen looks completely stupid. Basically, Garfield and Odie are talking with the most ear-piecing music in the background. The game itself isn't much better, as you're about to see. Yeah, so it just looks horrible and stuff, and my emulator is really chugging, I'm very, very sorry. But what you're about to see is the actual game. And the actual game isn't that good either. It's a generic side scroll like Mario. But the first problem comes with the items. Watch as I carefully walk across. How are the items placed in such random locations? And the power-ups are the main collectible that you need to get through the level. I mean, they do help with the enemies. But it's just stupid how they arrive how they show up in random areas. They, the enemies are too tough, so you need the the power-ups to get through the level. And even if that wasn't the case, I should not, under any circumstance, be required to stop in my tracks and go back to get the item and fix issues made by slackluster and confident game devs. That's their job. Seriously, why do the power-ups have to be in so cryptic locations? Aren't the power-ups something, you know, that should be easy for the player to get, instead of popping up from random in, random in the background? It's so dumb! Ugh. The reason this is a problem is because the items show at random, and you need to go back to them to fight the enemies. The game designers really should have taken lessons from Super Mario Bros. The right way to make a side-scrolling platformer. The items are hidden in boxes instead of the level. And this is Garfield with Mario's gameplay. So, there's no excuse for the items to be hiding in the background. It's unacceptable. While we're on the subject of the enemies, the enemies are very generic. They're as bland as the wall. They include caterpillars, flies, spiders, and I am not kidding here, mice. Mice! Are you kidding me? Why is Garfield fighting mice? Garfield likes mice. Have the idiots who made this game even read the comments? God, it's the lack of loyalty to the source material that really gets me angry. And speaking of the source material, why is the game's concept a side-scroller platformer? Why couldn't it just be Garfield grabbing lasagna or something? It's like, that made, that made Garfield the character that he is! I mean, damn! In the Atari 2600 game, Garfield was eating burgers, and that showed what Garfield's character is. A fat, lazy cat. Well, okay, he was jumping on a fence, but that didn't matter because it was only once a single part of the game. And it was Atari, so the game designers really ha didn't have much to work with. But this is the Famicom. There's no excuse for the concept to be this lame. I mean, you can make a story out of this game. If I say... There is no excuse one more time, I am gonna lose my mind. To advance from one stage to the next, you need to find the key. But like the power-ups, it's cryptic. It's hidden in such a random location. So after turning Garfield into a kangaroo for a few minutes and jumping around like a dazed idiot, 
you find the key. This, this is an example of how the designers pay no attention to detail. It's so stupid. It is the most ridiculous, ball buster, stupid way to find a key to access the level. The key needs to be in a very specific location and it could, should be easy to see without handicapping the challenge. But what I mean by that is that there's no excuse for the key to be hidden in a random location! I can imagine what the game designers were thinking when they were holding a meeting for this game. So, here we have everything so far. We have the genetic enemies, we have the power-up covered in complete random locations, but it's missing something. What should we do? Yes, Janice, put the key in a random location! Brilliant! The weapons are themselves are pretty pathetic as well, and they don't make any sense. Like, what's this? You just stroll around, pick up an item, again, in this cryptic way, and look, you pick up a pie. What does the pie do? Well, let me just hit the select button and I'll show you. You have to get a spider move out of the way, so I'll use this as an example. So you switch to the pie, and it makes you shoot a projectile shorter than a baby! Also, the power-ups are just washed-down versions of their Mario counterparts. Why is it so pathetic? The purpose of the power-ups is to get through the through the game and defeat enemies. But if your power-ups are this bad, this shows that you clearly don't care. Screw this game! And when you die in this game, which is gonna happen a lot considering all the bullcrap you've gotta get through, so it's just so dumb, I really hate it. And the enemies are cheap, so you die, and then you get a game over, and then you have to start all the way back. As a way to say, thank well done you stupid kid, you died. F you. This game has nothing good about it. There is nothing here. And whenever the and whatever the game has to offer isn't worth it. It's a terrible licensed game on an outstanding cartoon icon. And when it and even if we take Garfield out of the picture, it's just a terrible, abysmal game. And easily is the worst NES experience I've ever suffered through. And they didn't even attempt to make a good game, let alone based on Garfield and the other car characters from the comics like John, Odie, Normal, Liz, and other known characters aren't, aren't there. This is a Garfield game, and the requirement is that all characters need to be in the game. So there's no excuse! I'm sick to death of saying it. They make all these licensed games slap happy with with no effort and shit them out for the gamers like me to play just for them to roll their roll in their hard earned cash just for all us to say it bloody sucks Garfield on NES gets 1 out of 10 I've never seen such a complete waste of time in my life I can't take it anymore Hey guys I just want to thank you guys for watching. I've been running out ideas for the Games Court episodes lately, and I've been burnt out. So, I need a break from making the Games Court episodes. I know you guys don't see that, but I've been tossing around ideas for episodes. But I never settled on, idea on ideas lately. To avoid that from happening, I need a break from the Games Court episodes. I hope you guys can understand. As a creator, it takes a lot out of me to make these episodes. And worst case scenarios can lead to being bored, and I don't want that to happen. So, I'm going to take a break from the games court. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did be sh if you did like this video, then please do a leave a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on channel notifications and share it with a friend or on social media. I'm James O'Hare and case dismissed. Thanks for watching.